I'm gonna give away all of my best free keyword secrets in this video. You don't even need to sign into anything to do any of these keyword methods. I'm gonna show you three different things that I use pretty much daily to just find or check keywords without paying anything. So the first one, if you go on Google and just type in Ahrefs Keyword Generator, and then look for where it says free keyword generator tool and then open it, you'll see that this tool opens up. This actually works the same way as the internal Ahrefs keyword tool, but you don't have to pay for it. So yeah, it's pretty good. The other one is keywordtool.io or one of the other ones is keywordtool.io. This is one, another one that I use like a lot, but they actually do very, very similar things. Both of these tools, they look for some, no, they look for phrase matches, okay? So if I just type in hunting gear here, for example, it's not gonna come up with, you know, non, phrase matches. It's going to only come up with phrase matches such as duck hunting gear or this hunting gear or this hunting gear. It's never going to be, although these are really good keywords and I will actually grab these because yeah, thinking about it, these are actually really, really good keywords. Um, did I really just see dog hunting gear? Oh, maybe hunting with dogs, not hopefully not for dogs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of things like this. Uh, that's already a really, really good list. And we're looking at hunting gear specifically just because i am working in the background i'm working on a uh a hunting website basically um hunting gear website we'll talk about why we chose hunting at some point but yeah this is just kind of what we're going for right now um so even like without even trying i've already come up with some ideas here this is this was not what i was supposed to be doing i was just supposed to be showing you this was phrase match and i was supposed to be talking about why that's not the best but sometimes it does work quite well provided you can think of the words to put here that could be followed by a qualifier. For example, turkey hunting gear. So another thing we can do is we can write something like best laser, or laser might be with a Z in America. Best, is it? No, wait, that can't be right. That doesn't sound right. Now that I've just said that, I did, oh. Oh, right, sorry. Yeah, because obviously it, it's an acronym. So obviously it's L-A-S-E-R, sorry. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Best laser site for, then press enter here. And then again, it's gonna do the same thing. So look, best laser site for, I don't wanna say that word, just in case. And then what I can do is I can check whether we have this. So I can search laser site for that word on products. And I can make sure that the keyword is relevant to the business that I'm working on. So you can see it says for GLK, which obviously means for that exact object or that model. So yeah, this would be another really, really good keyword. Um, I would have to check a few more of these. Like, I don't know what, I don't even know what half of these things are. I'm not really a person who knows much about, um, yeah, this. <laughs> Again, I'm trying not to say the word just in case I get demonetized, but I, I don't think I would get demonetized, to be fair. But I just, I just want to be absolutely sure. It just freaks me out when you see things like this. Um, I'm not really like a fan of this. It's just a really, really good niche. So again, this would fit nicely because you can see we have these. So yeah, I'll probably just add all of these as well. You can see just how easy it is to start building a list of blogs from a list of products that you might have. So a lot of people, what they do is they do, they do this in the wrong order. They do the keyword research first and then they find the products. What I'm actually doing is I've done all the products and now I'm finding the keywords to fit those products because you can basically guarantee that these things will be popular objects. That's, ba that, that's kind of the logic that we're going for here. So again, I'm just using my head, okay? Um, and I am not, into hunting, I don't know anything about this stuff. So if I can do it, you can do it. Let's have a little look at some collections that were automatically made um, and see which has a lot in them. So yeah, this is good. So we'll do, we'll replace laser with this word. I can definitely say the word scope. Like I'm not gonna get demonetized for saying scope. Yeah, perfect, like this kind of thing. And then we just search for uh, that on products. And the way that I'm doing everything means that when I come around to writing the blog posts, then it will automatically know that these are for that particular model, if that makes sense. It does say here, perfect. 
So yeah, this looks like it might be exactly, this is, it's not really a scope though, is it? A scope? See, I don't know if that's a scope or not. I've got literally no idea what that even is. It doesn't look like a scope. It's a scope mount, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> literally don't even know what that means. This looks like it might be a scope, an actual scope. No, it's not. It's another scope mount. I, I, I don't know what this is. I've got no idea what this is. I know I don't know nothing about this this niche whatsoever. I've never even shot in my life any ever <laughs> anything. <laughs> so I'm just kind of I'm kind of yeah, just trying my best here. But we do have scopes, so I'm guessing if we have scopes. We can also have scope models. I don't know how it knows what goes on what. A scope's universal. <laughs> I'm learning a lot right now. I have no idea. I literally have li I, I have zero idea. I have no idea. It's getting put in the list anyway. So you can see after just, uh, we've been going for six minutes, I already have a potential 100, no, 258 keywords, just literally by doing nothing, just by <laughs> using my brain. Now, I will just switch over to Keyword Tool just quickly to show you that it's pretty much the same thing. You can see the volume here for free. Remember, I'm not signed up. I'm not signed in. You can see right here. So we'll do this. And then I want to have a little... Yeah, okay, let's see if these are actually different. No, they're not. They're exactly the same. So oftentimes they will be the same. So just don't worry too much about that. You can use one or the other. Uh, Ahref shows you the volume for free. Keyword Tool does not. The good thing that Keyword Tool does is it allows you to search Google Trends, Amazon, YouTube, Bing, app store you know all of this the only difference is you can't see the amount right you can't see the the traffic but you can even put it to questions or prepositions which is another really really good way to get different keywords from the same like seed keywords here you can get loads of different things like this best scope for clip on thermal best scope on the market for example okay so this is another really, really good way to add different words to get different answers, if that makes sense. This is how most of my keyword research actually goes. If I see that there's a few results here, then I know that 99% of these are going to be searched. This will be searched on Google a lot. So I don't even have to worry about the amount of people that are searching it. But just to show you, I will show that this will pick up, you know, zero to 10 people, most likely. I don't know exactly how many it will pick up. But we'll see. It hasn't picked up any. But does that mean that this has no searches? Does that mean that an article about this will get no results? You tell me. I know that it will get results. It will. It will work. So, okay, let's have a little look. Uh, let's try scope mounts because we do have some of those as well. So we'll just search that basically. Another another annoying thing about Ahrefs keyword generator is that you do have to do the um, what's it called the recapture thing every so often. Beautiful AR scope mounts. I shouldn't have said that word. I really hope I don't get bloody demonetized for saying that now. Ugh, so annoying. Uh, all of these have less than 100, but again, someone left a really stupid comment on my channel. Um, I would show it, but I'm not that mean. Where they said that the one keyword I was focusing on had less than 100 monthly searches. And then, yeah, but there are another 300 keywords on that one article. So maybe you should think about things before before leaving comments. But again, I won't, I won't go into that in too much detail. Uh, this was a good one, actually. So I will just get these again. Uh, th this is the most annoying thing about Ahrefs keyword generators that you have to do the recapture thing. But I mean, for a free little tool that gives you traffic, I mean, are we going to complain? I don't, I don't think so. So yeah, you can see how quickly and easily you can start to build a list of articles that you can write about and then the next step would be to um like put this through claude one by one put with your products so that you can write good content that includes your products now what that means is so for an for a keyword like this again i don't want to read keywords out just in case i don't know what's going to get me demonetized i don't really understand youtube this keyword right here what i would do is i would just give Claude all of my products and I would say write this article and it would choose the products from the titles if that makes sense so let's try this one here this again really nice niche you can see there's loads and loads of potential here 
Also, they write TGT. So a really interesting thing that I did before I did this was obviously I want to know how many competitors we have, how many competitors are using the exact same drop shipping method as me. This is a little bit off topic, but what you can do is you can do that. So speech marks, the keyword or the title of the product, and then that. So 189 people have done the same thing without changing any of the SEO. So what does that mean? I know now that if I change the SEO, I have the advantage over 189 different people right? So I might not have the price advantage because I'm putting a slightly higher price because I think, you know, high margins are important for a business. But actually, that might be too far off. Yeah, it's, yeah, they can get it 20 bucks cheaper. Uh, but look, this kind of looks like a scam. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying it is, it probably isn't a scam, but this just looks like a scam. So what we're doing or what I'm doing right now while I'm speaking to you is I'm rewriting all of this, all of this SEO, everything, so that it's way longer, way more real, and then we're putting it on a nice Shopify theme, and then we're gonna write a crap ton of blogs about it. Also, free shipping over 35, so you'd actually have to order, order two. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe our prices are too high, I'll, I'll have to think about this, but that's okay. Let's go back to here, and we'll do targets. So best targets for, and we'll do the same thing here, best targets for. Have a look. Yeah, perfect, 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 perfect. There we go. There's another however many articles. And obviously, you'd have to sift through these and get rid of the crap. But generally speaking, this is just an, an insane way to build, um, to start getting traffic to a new website. Now, this is probably the best and easiest way to do it. Um, there are other ways. And I can quickly go into the other way. I may as well, just in case. So if you don't want to do it like that, there is another way if you've got more of an informational website. Okay, so the, for this one specifically, you will need ChatGPT+. Plus. I'm sorry. Um, it's just the way it is. I've given you how to do this for free. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do this for $19.99 a month. If you go on search all GPTs and type in topical authority and click this first one right here, you'll see that I actually have a topical authority generator. It's got 4.8 out of five after 300 ratings, 10,000 conversations. Basically, nobody says that this is a bad tool. So we'll press start chat here and we'll say, uh, accessories, but no. Okay, <laughs> obviously I have to put <laughs> that bit there. Um, I hope that doesn't think it, I mean like no. Yeah, okay, perfect. So what this does is it takes, I don't actually know if we sell archery stuff, but it takes the niche and kind of separates it into, do we sell? Yeah, oh, okay. We do sell some stuff. Okay, nice, perfect. Uh, it breaks it into basically different things, the different categories. And then from there, you can then break these into further categories. So for example, Hunting optics could be split into, like it says, scopes, binoculars, range finders, okay? And do we have all those? I guess we have the last one. You see what I'm saying? Because this is such a, this is such a beautiful thing to show you guys, honestly. Let me just show you what, what I'm talking about. All of this is linked together purely by logic. So look, range finders. I didn't even know if we had any range finders. But if ChatGPT says that you need range finders for this hobby, right? And then I use a tool to import from a hunting store all of those products, those two things should align just by nature of logic and the fact that we're covering the same topic, okay? I really, really hope that makes sense. I'm going to say, now give me the sub-pillar pages, and then it'll start giving me the sub-pillar pages. And yeah, you'll see that it's going to be very, very similar. This is probably what I would do as well. I would probably do, I'll probably do all these articles to be fair, because I, I think they're probably going to get good traffic. And then I would, after that, I would do any of, I would do these, which are a little bit more kind of um, broad, like a m much, much broader. So this is a much broader topic than say, like if I go down here, like this is quite a specific topic. This is a much broader topic. Best this for hunting. I'm trying not to say the words. 
and then best scope for this particular model, obviously it's going to be this one that is much broader and this is more specific. So this is kind of the difference between the phrase match, which this uses, phrase matching, and kind of the semantical logic, logical match, which, which is what this does instead. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I will do another video probably in a couple of days talking about another keyword method, which is Google Ads Keyword Planner which is very, very good, but it just requires a bit more setup and a lot of people don't like to use it. So I just wanted to talk about the free and easy to use without sign up keyword tools. Please note, if you leave a comment saying that this tool is not free because of this, I'm, I'm sorry, but the keywords are here. Why do you need this? You, I don't want to be nice, be nice. Don't say that. You're a, you're a, the way you think is different to the way I think if you think this tool is not free. What is not tool about, what is not free about this? Look, if you want to know how many searches this has, just put it on this tool. Come on, use your brain. <laughs> Sorry, it's just last time I made a video about a uh, keyword tool that I, uh, I had for like 50,000 comments saying, oh, this tool's not free, you liar, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way till the end of a 16-minute video, then you're a legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.